Hello Travelers, so today I want to do just a really quick video um, on some of the different methods for carrying a soap bar, um, some of the different pouches and different ways to carry it while you're on the road. So if you have a Dr. Brunner's soap bar like this one here, or you have a J.R. Liggett's uh, shampoo bar, you will want to find a way to carry this without it sort of getting the inside of your toiletry bag all sticky with the soap residue. So when you finish using soap, often it gets a bit wet and a bit soft if um, you put it into a plastic bag directly after using it. And that's something you don't want when you're traveling, especially if you're going to be traveling the next day, you don't want squishy soap in your bag. So probably one of the cheapest and methods that I see most commonly used by people is just uh, using a little resealable bag like this. Um, you can find them in different sizes. This is just one that I got from a product I ordered online. But if you have a bar of soap small enough, like this one I got from a hotel, um, after you finish using it, you might want to just pat it off with the towel so it's a bit dry, or even wait till the next day and then just pop it in there. And that will keep it nice and sealed. And all the residue will be on the inside of this bag rather than the inside of your toiletry bag. So popping that in there like that, that will be safe for my trip and it won't ruin the inside of my toiletry bag. So another method that I recently saw online, some people suggested, was when you have your bar of soap here, let me just open this one up. So when you have your bar of soap and let's say you've just finished using it, it's a bit damp, um, I've seen people suggest putting it into one of these scrubbing towels. So these also come in like a glove form and some people said that they put the soap into the glove with this material and hung it up and so the soap dried through the material and the next day everything was dry and the soap was undamaged. So another method you could actually use is uh, reusing the, the packet it came in. This is sort of a waxed paper case here and you could just pop the soap back into there after you've finished using it and it would run out through the bottom or you could allow it to dry and then put it in here and that could be another method to carry it. And one of the methods that I've actually been using for the longest time is this J.R. Liggett's pouch, um, so the Easy pouch. Uh, this one comes in a kit with a bar of J.R. Liggett's soap and it includes this little nylon strip, this little nylon strip here. And the idea is that you put this around the soap like that. Um, I believe the J.R. Liggett's bar is slightly smaller, but this still works fine. You put it around the soap and it kind of sticks to the soap and after it's wet, and then you just pop it back into the pouch. You can pop it in this way. I believe they suggest to pop it in like this way so that your hands don't get sticky when you're reaching back in to grab the soap. Um, but this easy pouch um, I've found really handy and actually I've used it for most of my trips without any problems. Um, obviously the smaller the soap is you can clip it shut but this one fits in there quite all right and it does dry through there. I haven't really noticed much residue but often what I do is uh, after I've finished using the soap, I'll put this on here and I'll just allow it to dry on the top of there on the sink. And that way um, the next day, usually it's dry enough to pop in there and carry. So one of the newest methods and um, probably one of the more expensive ones, but uh, it could well be worth it for um, the way you travel. And this is the Matador soap bar pouch. So it's a proprietary material that allows the soap inside to dry without the water actually seeping out. So the whole thing stays completely dry. So I'll just show you this here. I have my JR Liggett's um, shampoo bar. So you can see I put it in there while it was wet and it did dry through the pouch. Um, it's not too deformed, you can still use it. You can see the shape of the bag's been imprinted onto the soap. But it's not too damaged and you can still use it fine. Now this bag here is a roll top closure. So it's completely airtight and the water won't seep out through the fabric no matter how wet the soap is. And because it's quite a large size, it does fit a variety of different soaps. So it will fit a full size, brand new uh, Dr. Bronner's bar in there. So they suggest you roll it three times to get the best uh, method out of this. So I'll just roll that now. So that's one, two, three. And then you just clip it shut here like so. This is one really interesting way to carry your soap. Um, it's not that cheap, as I said, but um, it's very well made. Um, it's got quality materials, as you can see, and it's a very interesting proprietary uh, fabric. So that's it. Just a few interesting ways that I've uh, tried and um, I would suggest for you to carry your travel soaps or um, solid shampoo bars. Um, for me, probably I'll continue using this one 
but if I didn't want to spend the money on this one, this is a really great option. So that's it, thanks very much for watching. Be sure to let me know down in the comments which kind of method you use for carrying your soaps, I'd really love to know. And be sure to stay subscribed to keep up to date with future videos.